OpenPhoto.info. Uh, I wanted to show you some pictures I took down in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument down in southern Arizona, almost to the border. Um, we, we rolled in here on a really gray day. The wind was blowing. We set up camp, uh, just having some dinner in the car, trying to stay out of the wind. When my son noticed that the light was peeking out under, as it was setting, it peeked out right under the cloud cover and started lighting up the landscape. So we threw our uh, food aside, grabbed a camera, and just hustled out. I knew that the light wouldn't last, and we're literally chasing it here. This is a, a cactus that's found um, in this uh this park, uh, in the, I guess in the United States, is the only place they occur in, in naturally. Uh, I think they have them in Mexico as well. But um, we wanted to see these cactus, these organ pipe cactus. And so it looked like we were hoping for some better light the next day because it didn't look like it was going to happen. But right at the end of the day, the light peaked out. So we grabbed a camera and ran out the door. Uh, Anyways, uh, so here's where I start this sequence, and I want you to take note of the timestamp, 5 p.m., 5.38 and 34 seconds. Right in the evening, I moved on. Um, here's a frame here that I kind of liked. It had a little bit of a rainbow, so I put a green label on it. I'm using yellow labels for ones I want to revisit. So here's a yellow label. It's like, okay, it's sharp and everything, but not my favorite frame. Um, and here I am at 5 minutes, 5 p.m., 5.39 and 38 seconds. So about a minute later, I'm arriving at this composition. I've got some saguaro cactus here, sort of putting bookends on this organ, organ pipe cactus. Um, and you can see this band of light moving off across the valley. It's moving off towards the mountains in the background. It's still catching the tops of these cactus. Uh, but uh, things are changing fast, and so we're rather frantically trying to get a composition. Here I moved over a little bit. I think I was maybe interested in this peak back here. Um, that might work too um, between those two frames. I kind of like those. That's a, I put a yellow on that. I might change that to green just to scrutinize it a little bit more later. Um, here's Then I moved on. I'm looking for other, other shots or getting more into the subject here this has a red label because it's out of focus it's it's it might be camera shake or uh, I'm at a very slow shutter speed I was shooting with a 70 to 200 lens ISO 500 got the aperture at f5 it's almost all the way open and it's an 80th of a second handheld I didn't really have time to grab it I didn't want to take the time to grab the tripod or anything I knew I had to hurry and uh, sort of got caught with my pants down because we were, I thought the day was done, but then that light peaked out and so we shifted gears. That's the red label, it's soft. But really what I wanted to point out, as, as the light's moving off, you can see how fast it is. Now we're at 5.41 and 34 seconds. You know, three minutes later, it's off the valley floor and onto the hills in the background. Um, I would have liked to have hit this with a longer lens and, and tried to get some some of these layers of these nice purple mountains in the background. But again, I had the one lens I knew that if I took the time to try to run back to the car to get a longer lens, I would just miss it all. So I just kept working with it. Um, but the light is fading fast. You can see it moving up the mountains now. Uh, some of these are getting softer because I have very slow shutter speed. And that's the last frame, and that's 5.42 and 54, so four seconds. So that's uh, four minutes, 20 seconds um, elapsed time um, for those, you know, however many dozen frames or so, a couple dozen. Um, so that's the lesson, really, is when you see the light like that, um, it would be better to be prepared ahead of time and be standing out there when that light peaked out, but I literally was not thinking that I was going to get anything and was not ready. But this is what I came up with. The lesson here, I guess, is just to, when, if, if you see light like that, you know, you got to move on it fast. And uh, this is what we came up with. We, 
This was one of my favorite frames. Let's take a look at it quickly in Photoshop. This is opening in, it's a raw file, so it's opening in camera raw. And you can see that the light's painted off the bottom of this. What I'll do is, I think I'm going to look at the shadows and just see if I can open them up a little bit more to achieve what my eye saw. And I'm going to open and tell somewhere in there. Um, yes, this is still in shadow, but I, it, it looks a little bit more like I saw it with my eye. I'm not going to do anything with the exposure. The exposure is good. Uh, the color looks right. Uh, we got this nice warm light against this this neutral background, which you know makes that nice evening light even that more much more intense. And so I'm happy with this frame. It's where I settled on, um, but I will look at some of the others uh, later just to see if I like them too. Um, point being, the light's fleeting when it's like this. You better get out and move fast. Be better to be prepared ahead of time and be sitting out there when the light peeks out on your tripod and everything. But if you don't have that, just get out there, make those frames in the good light. It's been said before, but that's where your best results are going to happen. And uh, it often you don't have a lot of time to dilly dally. So I hope that uh, is, uh, you know, instructional, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we certainly liked it down there and recommend that location for photography. Uh, get out there, make some frames, uh, and uh, have a great time. Again, it's Michael with LearnPhoto.info. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.